All right, everyone. I know that I mention quite often that I am looking forward to the conversation that I'm going to have for that day. But today is extremely special because this individual is not only one of my favorite students, the one that has been with me the longest, but also one of my dearest and closest friends. So I think you're gonna really enjoy this episode, this conversation he's been on before. So this is going to be a very relaxing and kind of a updated conversation between friends. So Fred, welcome. How are you doing, Fred? Hey, Tiff, how are you? I'm doing amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me uh, one more time. Uh, of course. You know, every time it's a pleasure for me to be here with you. Uh, it's like just uh, a nice conversation. So I love uh, our interviews. So thanks for having me. So of course, of course. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing well, too. And I agree. I also enjoy our conversations. Now, I would love to just jump right into just the conversations. We just talked yesterday for almost an hour. So I'd love to just jump into our regular conversations. But there might be one or two students that have never seen you before. So I'm going to ask you, Fred, if you can just give a real quick synopsis, how you found out about me, information about who you are, whatever you want to share to introduce yourself. I'm going to hand the mic over to you. Okay, so for those that don't know me, I'm Fred Silva. I'm from Brazil. I am a, a member of the Academy since 2019. Just at the beginning, when Tiffany opened the door, mm -hmm. I was there. So I started <laughs> from the beginning. And, uh, you know, at that time, I was not uh, comfortable um, to speak in English. I was, I know a little bit about English, but my speaking skills was not so good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after that time, I, I start to develop my, my communication skills and mostly because you gave me the chance to speak, you know, yeah. as much I had, I had like uh, freedom to speak with other students with, you know, to use my English on a daily basis, things start to change. And I am so glad to, to have that opportunity because for me, uh, when I start to to participate more you know to be more important in the academy i start to improve my english of course and i start to help other students too and right now i have uh, sessions uh in the in the academy so i i talk to students uh on a day on a weekly basis so and for me it's like uh, a good day you know to be with them and speak with them some of them are in the beginning of the journey they are uh, afraid they are you know a little bit uh, afraid to make mistakes and sometimes they are a little bit, uh, you know, shy. And I, I, I tell them I, I was the same. So don't worry about that. Just keep talking, keep uh, practicing. And yeah, the the, re the rest is history. Amazing. And, uh, Good you use. I am a, a proud member of, of this academy for a long time. And for me, it's a it's a blast. You know, because I I usually say that uh, my confidence that I have right now, mm -hmm. I. I just have because uh, you helped me with this uh -huh. uh, aspect of my my uh, English learning journey, you know. So Amazing. right now I don't have any any fear to speak anymore. I and love for it. Me it's a it's a good thing. It makes me so happy whenever I hear someone say that. One of our family members say, "Tiff, I'm confident now." I'm like, "Yes, that's the goal." So I'm very happy to hear that. That was a good summary, and I know someone listening or watching is like, "Wait a minute, there's so many details. I want to know more." So. Honestly, Fred, we could talk for hours, literally. So I, I, I kind of want to focus on, you mentioned one aspect with the weekly class that you're leading in the academy. Let me say that again. Fred is leading one of the classes in the academy now. That's how much his English has improved. He's leading one of the groups we have. And I also want to talk about your podcast. So uh -huh. the purpose, yes, a <laughs> big smile. So again, the purpose of this conversation, the reason why I wanted to bring you on again, is because you can be such an inspiration to others, but it's not just about what you've done. And I'll, this is me now as Tiffany, not just teacher Tiffany, as your friend Tiffany, just giving you kudos, giving you compliments because your heart is so big. And this is something that you guys know about me. Like I love serving. I love helping people. I want to make sure everyone thrives or does well. So it's such a blessing when I meet other people that have the same desire. 
the same heart. And there are many of our family members, again, we say family members for those in our academy, um, are the same. So when I met you and over the time of getting to know you and we become really good friends, I realized more and more how big your heart is. You have your own company and we've talked about that in the previous episode, your English improved. Now you have clients in other countries speaking only in English. But even though you're running your own business, you have busy life, you're still setting aside time to help our family members in the academy because you want to encourage them. That's just proof how big your heart is. So I want to thank you. And I know I've told you this before, but I want to thank you for that. Uh, and I want to thank you because <laughs> I don't know if I told you, but uh, this mm. podcast mm. is because of you. It's because of you. I don't, I don't know if you remember, but uh, that day that you invited me to participate in one of your uh, live training, live uh, events, mm. you asked me to be with, with, with you for 15 minutes. Uh, and you know oh you're right okay hold on before hold on let me make sure guys i'm o i'm only pausing because fred and i literally talk all the time so, so this feels like a regular conversation and i realized wait a minute they may not know what we're talking about just quickly and i'll let fred continue fred has a podcast and his podcast he interviews other english teachers other english learners around the world this is something separate from me his confidence improves so much that now he's interviewing so now he's giving the backstory how that started. So yes, take the floor. Continue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Yeah, I'm just uh, explain the reason I decided to start this English podcast on YouTube. Uh, yeah. I started on January first uh, this year because we had a, a conversation for 15 minutes in, in one of your events and five zero, right? And... Five zero. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was like, uh, I don't I don't remember. It was almost 2,000 people live. Mm -hmm. They are mm -hmm. watching us. Mm -hmm. And after the conversation, uh, I look at the comments and people said, Fred, you are amazing. Your English is so good. I get got so motivated by, by your speech, by what you said. And I thought, wow, this is so great. Uh, I have such a power in my voice that I can share with people and they get motivated to study. People said, Right. I want to study now because I saw your result. Mm. So I want you to, to focus in my English, on my English. Mm. And after that day, I thought, wow, maybe I, I should do something to help others. Mm. And the thing that came to my mind was I can start an English podcast, interview other English teachers, other students uh, to make people get more confident about speaking. And of course, mm. if they see me uh, speaking in a podcast, you know, with confidence, they will be more motivated. So, and then I decided to start my English podcast. And to be honest, I have my my company, I have my clients, and you know, I I'm starting a new business in this side as well, in, in the English side. I love it. And for me, is my passion. Yes, uh, I love my clients. I love marketing, but English is you know, mm. it's a really really passion for me, and I love seeing people progressing. Mm. Uh, mm. then then get getting confidence uh, you know they uh participating in in a call and they don't have any issue to speak you know so i love to see that and for me it's a it's, it's a thing that uh make makes my heart uh happy mm. and i think this is one of the things that drives me so i love the helping people uh to improve you know giving them power to improve so this is the reason i start to decide this podcast and uh of course, you uh, were was one of your you were one of the the first in, interviewers mm. that I that I had, and for me was like at that day I got nervous because I was with my <laughs> my teacher. You, you remember that I I got a little bit nervous, and because you know I mm -hmm. I was with you, so I was like, mm. but the conversation was so great, and I I'm so glad to to have you as my guest in the podcast, and uh, as a friend. For sure, because for me it's a it's an honor to to be called my friend. So I love that too. There's so many things that I want to respond to. Again, I'm smiling because again, I'm proud of you. Yes, you're a teacher, but also as a friend, like I'm very proud of you. Um, there are a few things you said, Fred, um, that I wanted to address. First, you were saying, I'll go backwards. You said that the first time you interviewed me, the first interview, 
Um, I'm also an interviewer. Like I'm interviewing you right now, right? So yes, I was the first interviewer on your podcast, even though you interviewed me. You said you were nervous. Now, just to give a little bit of backstory, everyone, Fred interviewed me after we had become literally close friends. We were literally, we were already very close friends. He knows my family, everything. And it's just interesting how when you start something new, even though you know someone, there's still that level of nervousness that's there. Um, but the conversation went really well. And again, I want to remind everyone, even when the nervousness comes back, when you become an advanced English speaker, it doesn't mean your English is not good. It just means there's a situation that you're not necessarily comfortable with. Once you gain your confidence, everything comes back, just like what Fred ha said happened to him for the first interview. And the other thing is, Fred, you said that English is now your passion. English is now something that you want to continue using and actually having a business that is based on English. And that in itself is amazing. Um, I want to make sure those listening know the title and the name of your podcast, because I, I want everyone listening. I want you guys to support Fred. I want you to support him, listen to the yeah. podcast. So Fred, tell us the name of your podcast, please. Oh, thank you for this opportunity. And the name of the podcast is Silvercast. Mm -hmm. Silver is my last name and uh, I put cast. I, I don't put English in the, in the title, but mm -hmm. uh, I like to make it short. And if you can take a look to just uh, put on, on YouTube Silvercast and you find uh, my interviews and of course the interview with you. That was mm -hmm. great. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if people will, will notice uh, that I was a little bit nervous at that time. But this, as you mentioned, even I was nervous, mm -hmm. I did I did that. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. result was was great. So sometimes we get a little bit, you know, uh, afraid and to face some challenge. Mm -hmm. But after you do that, you feel powerful. Mm -hmm. You feel very mm -hmm. good. So you feel that I can do that. Uh, I was afraid, but right now, mm -hmm. nothing can stop me. And I, I feel it. I feel that that way, that, this way at that day so uh, it was a great time and yeah this is my podcast okay. super cast and i love uh, it i i think i didn't tell to tell you but i recently achieved a thousand subscribers which congratulations that's amazing <laughs> thank you that's a huge yeah, accomplishment a, that's huge it's a huge accomplishment yeah yeah that's it and i am so happy because it was you know a few days ago when you when you are amazing. traveling i yes. hit that number and I got so happy. So it's I love awesome. it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I, I hope that people, when they watch these interviews, like when I, the whole point of me starting this aspect of my podcast and also these videos to go on YouTube is because it's not about me. <laughs> and Fred, you know me very well. It's not about me. It's about you all and how amazing you guys are. And I love shining the spotlight on you and other family members and I just want the people watching to realize nothing is impossible. I can inspire you and help you learn English and help you gain the confidence. But after that, we say the world is your oyster. Like there's nothing you cannot do. And you guys are seeing literally Fred has this podcast. He's this, doing a business now, like all of these things. So I remember, so you mentioned the time that we were on, um, you were on when I had a live event on YouTube, right? With 2000 people, right? I remember that when you mentioned it, one of the key, I think, situations that sticks out in my mind that showed me how much you'd improved and it made me so proud as a teacher and as a friend. So Fred had been in the academy for years and I was doing an event specifically for the academy members. We had started the new platform, Circle, the Circle platform. And real quick, you guys are noticing that I keep saying we, our academy, our students, our family. This is something that's very common. Why? Because it's not about me. It's about us together. And that's why I think students are improving. So anyways, we had an event and I asked you to come on. I wanted you to give your testimony, Fred, for the new students that had joined. And it was not on YouTube. It was on our private academy um, group. And there were several hundred students, I think, at the time, maybe a hundred students there at that moment, I think. And I had trouble with my internet connection. I remember now, that. <laughs> you remember now, right? Uh -huh. So Fred and I were on camera and we were talking about his experience. He was encouraging the students. And all of a sudden, my internet 
completely went out. My camera went off, my mic went off. So I was frantically trying to message Fred. I sent him a private message in WhatsApp, like Fred, my internet's going down, my video's off. Can you keep talking? Now, I only expected it to go for five minutes because I thought I could fix it really quickly. So as, Fred said, sure, go ahead. No worries, Tiff. And he, Fred, you were so composed. It's like I watched a, a new side of you come out. I remember the nervous Fred that I first met years back. And I literally was sitting in front of my computer saying, this happened for a reason. Because I think you also realized you were competent enough to handle a situation like that. It didn't last five minutes. It was almost an hour that you were by yourself. And I was sitting at my computer watching you the whole time. My internet eventually came back, but I think I messaged you and said, I'm not coming back on. Cause I, I was watching something happening in you. And I was like, oh my gosh, Fred, this is amazing. Like you were handling the comment section. You were speaking so well with confidence. You weren't nervous. And so that moment always will stick in my mind. Again, as a teacher, yes, I was proud of my student, but also as a friend, something happens when you watch your friend that you really care about or a family member you really care about start to blossom. It's like, it, it's a different feeling and that's the feeling I had. So again, yes, I was very proud of you. And since then, I mean, a thousand subscribers on YouTube, a thousand subscribers on YouTube for an English podcast. So that's what I remember um, about when I first, well, I guess when I think about when you had this next transition, the next step in your English journey. But I want you, Fred, to tell everyone when you decided to start the podcast. Because I remember a conversation we had and you were a little bit nervous, but when you decided to start it and why you put up the first episode. Oh, it's a good question. And, uh, I need to come back to what I said before uh, about the day that I noticed that I maybe I have I have uh, such a power in my voice I can inspire people. Mm -hmm. uh, that was that day that I mentioned to you, and that day something something uh, caught my attention. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I should do this. And in this day that I mentioned that I that you had uh, issues with, with your connection and. I was there, just me and the students. I think it was over than a hundred students. Mm -hmm. And you you messaged me, Fred, can you keep talking? And I continued to talk. At that day, I almost lose my voice. I was, I talked so <laughs> much. I talked for over an, uh, an hour. Mm -hmm. And at that day, before I had the click, maybe should I do this? At that day, I have sure about this. I need to do this because I noticed mm. something that mm. you had you had a you had a, a feeling mm -hmm. I had I had the same feeling mm. at that day so that was the day that I I made the decision I will do that I will mm. start my English podcast because you know I want to see the same transformation in other students mm. that, I, that I had in my own life in my own English Mm. So that was the day I really decide, you know, I, I took the decision to, to do it. Mm. And, and then I start to, you know, to, to make searches and everything to see how it's going on. I start to watch other English podcasts, your interviews as well that, that we have in, in the podcast. So I start to, to try to figure out a way to do that in a good way. And, mm -hmm. and then I, I told you about the, the idea and you said, Fred, it's a great idea. Do it. And uh, and here's is one thing that I, of course, I love you as a teacher. I love you as a friend. I love you as part of my family because I feel that you are part of my family. And one of the things that I love you in the most as, as a person is you always try to put us in, you know, in the, to shine, you know, mm. you you said it's not about me it's about my students so you you say fred go do it mm. do mm -hmm. it and as a student i feel so happy because i have the opportunity to express myself and and to do things that um, i was not able to do before and i i don't see this just with me i see this with other students too mm. right now uh we have other students that lead uh sessions in in, in your program yes. and mm -hmm. it's we can see mm the change yes they change completely because they are 
responsible. Yes. She leads something. When they lead, lead, they improve as a yes. person, as a communicator, and of course, uh, their English too. So yes. I, I need to say, I need to say this because I, this is one of the, th the things that make me, make me, uh, took that decision, mm. and this helped me, you know, to improve my English for for sure, to improve my communication, and right now I'm, I'm passionate about English and I'm passionate about communication. Because mm. I think this is really beautiful. It's beautiful it. to see people, you know, communicate in a good way and, you know, uh, with confidence. Even the English is not perfect. I know my English is not perfect, mm -hmm. but this is not the, the main point. The exactly. point is, if we are able to uh, express ourselves, use the English we have in yes. a good way. Yes. You know, to have clients, to, to get a job or a promotion or whatever uh, it is. So, and this is just happened because you said, Fred, go, mm -hmm. try. So yeah. this is uh, what I, I need to say to you because uh, we talk a lot, but I don't have the opportunity to, to, to say something to you sometimes. So, and I, I am so that. proud of and happy to, to be close to you, to be your friend, to be your, your, your student as well. So it's, a, it's an amazing Thank you. I, I appreciate that. For those listening or watching, so you guys are just listening to our conversation. We're just giving each other compliments back and forth. <laughs> but no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, all the time, all the time. <laughs> no, but I really appreciate it. I um, man, and you brought up, and I'm looking at the time because again, I told you all at the beginning. Fred and I talk a lot, so <laughs> I have to make sure I watch the time because this can easily turn into a longer conversation. Um, but I wanted to address something you said, Fred. You mentioned the other members of our family that are now student leaders of the practice sessions. Watching that happen, I mean, there are so many of our family members, Machio, Jocelyn, Alita, Hidron, Robert. I mean, I can't, the list goes on of the students that are now like student leaders and leading practice sessions. Watching them, the happiness, the joy that comes, at, at, comes up inside of me when I watch them not only have confidence in themselves, but try to transfer that same confidence to other students. I'm like, this is what it's all about, giving to other people and helping them improve. So it makes me very happy. And I have to tell you this offline, Fred, but I'm seeing that happen and watching the transformation that happened in you, the transformation that's happening in other students is making me try figure out other ways to do the same thing with many of our family members to potentially provide jobs to help them also. So many ideas are popping up in my head of how I can help other students do the same thing. Um, so we'll see as time goes on how that all plays out. But I want to ask you another question, Fred, because it seems like you're living out your dream right now, right? Like from yeah. what you mentioned. But I want you to tell us, what is your biggest dream when it re relates to English? Like you said, Tiff, I have a business, but English is my passion and I'm loving this podcast and I'm loving helping the students on a weekly basis in the academy. What is your dream right now? You're living in the dream you had before. Moving forward, what is your dream? Wow, it's a, it's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friend, you know, uh, I had a lot of dreams in my life and everything changed uh, throughout yeah. life. And I, I got in a point that I noticed that uh, inspire people, mm. make them to become great communicators, make mm. them to become confident enough to achieve what they want mm. with the tools they have. And English is a tool mm. to achieve that. I start to think, this is my dream. My dream is helping how many people I can mm. to feel I am a great communicator, to feel that I'm ready for life. I'm ready to get a job. I'm ready to mm. achieve my biggest goals mm. because English right now, English and communication right now is not a, is not an issue anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe my English is not perfect, but I, I know how to communicate. Yeah. So if I, if I would say, I, I can say my dream is to help how, the most, how many people I can uh -huh. to, be, to become powerful communicators, mm. of, course, of course, in English. Mm, I love that. I love that. We have similar dreams. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Similar dreams. I love it. I love it. And I think, honestly, that that dream is going to become a reality faster than you realize. Faster than so. you realize. <laughs> I think it is because, again, your podcast took off and got bigger than you even anticipated, right? And it's still growing, of course, but there's so much potential inside of you. Like, I feel like God is gonna use you in many ways to help so many people. So I'm excited. We have this expression um, in English, kind of like a slang, like, not really slang, but just the situation. Like, I'm excited to sit on the sidelines eating popcorn. Basically, I'm just like, your life is a movie. I'm like, yes, do it, Fred. I'm, I'm excited to watch everything happen. Um, and I'm very proud of you. So yes, okay, now Fred, again, you know almost everything about me because we talk a lot, but I'll still ask you the same question I ask everyone. Is there any question that you have that you'd like to ask me? I feel like you've given so much advice throughout this episode. So I won't ask that question because people can really watch this episode again and see all of your inspiring words being played out in your life. But any question you have for me? Wow. I know. I, <laughs> yeah. We talk a lot. You know, you know almost everything. So I was like, well, this might be a little tricky, but. It is. It is really tricky. Mm. But I, I have a question for you. Yep. So uh, what do you feel mm -hmm. when you see somebody with a good potential? Mm -hmm. But for some reason, uh, this person doesn't talk take off mm. you know you know in, mm. about english or about about life what we should do if you we are, are in that in that position like okay i have the, the potential mm -hmm. but i i feel i feel depressed i feel uh, discouraged uh, mm -hmm. i feel that i'm not good enough mm -hmm. so what do, would you say to a student that are in this situation great question so um, and this happens a lot. And it actually makes me excited when that happens. And here's the reason. Um, there are two main, I'll say the two main reasons why a student feels like that. First, they haven't found a purpose. They haven't found a reason to actually continue studying English. English is a journey, right? It's a long journey to becoming a confident English speaker. So if you don't have a, a purpose, like, oh, I want to, uh, start a business. I want to get a better job. I want to incur. I want to inspire my children. If that's not present, you're not going to take off. The second possible reason is you don't have anyone in your life that believes in you. And this is what I've noticed that is very common among the students in our family, which is why, you know, I, I try to give more responsibility. When I recognize certain things, I try to give more responsibility, not pushing, just encouraging, right? So there are two reasons why, again, either they have no purpose, they don't know what they're doing it for, or they have no one in their life to encourage them and to believe in them. So what I've been doing a lot more recently, because we are an online community, right? We're not in person, we're not face to face. When I see that happening, and again, I'll use an example. Um, I use Machio all the time, but I'll, I'll use her again. Machio, you know, I love you. Um, just because she's the most recent um, that I've seen flourish so much. Um, I remember when Machio first came into the academy. Such a sweetheart, such a kind person. I could tell that she was very shy, but I saw the potential. And I said, okay, if this individual just realizes somebody who believes in her ability to speak English with confidence, I think she's going to blossom. I literally had that thought. And so I asked Machio if she would be a student leader. And she said, well, she was nervous, of course, right? But again, it goes back to when somebody believes in you, there's something that happens. You're like, okay, if they believe in me, maybe I'll try. And she agreed. Fast forward, Machio is one of the best student leaders. She's encouraging other people. There's a confidence that she exudes whenever she speaks now. And it all happened because starting off, uh, my teacher believes in me, so let me at least try. So that's the advice I would give. Find a purpose, a reason for studying English, or find someone that believes in you. And or even both. though, huh? Or both. Well, in order to, to get up that hump, <laughs> you need one. You would need at least one. If you have both, you're living the dream, right? 
But in order to get over that hump, you need at least one, right? There are self-motivated individuals that don't need someone that believes in them, but you need at least one of those to continue moving forward. And if you get both, come on to the academy, you'll get both. Um, but <laughs> again, like I have, there are thousands of students in the academy, but I feel like each of you all know that I believe in you genuinely. Like it's not fake, like come to the academy yet. Yeah. No, I, I really genuinely believe in every member of our family. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. You you did, you did very well. And Thank I you need so to... much. <laughs> <laughs> you passed, you passed today. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to add something. Uh, I, I said both because, you know, I, I am the, the proof that you mm. can achieve both because mm. I, I had the dream to to get clients outside outside of Brazil. This mm. was my mm. my goal. You said you need to have a goal, a purpose. Mm. I had this goal at the beginning. This was the, my goal to to get clients outside of Brazil. Mm. After I started studying with you, I got clients outside of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Then I changed uh, my goal to to a bigger goal. You know. Mm. You encourage people to become more confident to speak English. And my desire to improve my English became even more strong, you know, mm. after I put another goal and, and then I, I start to push myself even more hard, harder. Mm -hmm. And this is one point. The second one, when you have a person to encourage you, to, to help you, to, you know, to that belief believes in you. And this was the case. I start to believe more in myself after i see that you believe in me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at that day you, you mentioned that i was alone in the in the room talking mm -hmm. to people i noticed that you believe in me because mm -hmm. you won't uh leave me alone with your students if you don't believe mm -hmm. in, in me mm -hmm. and that day i noticed this point that, that i mentioned yeah this is a, is a thing that like push me to, yes. to go you know, you know push me to to improve because I noticed that, and when you feel like my teacher mm. believes in, in me, mm. I, I need to do that, something, mm. I need to, to do it. Mm. And this is the reason, this is, is the reason I, I mentioned, you can have both, because for me it was like this, at the mm. beginning, I had a, a purpose, a really uh, big and good purpose. And I found somebody that uh, believed in me to, and, and said, Fred, go, mm. do it. Mm. And this is the is the main point that I you know I got the what I what I what it takes to to do what I what I what I want. I love it. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pause this because I immediately had other things I wanted to talk to you about, <laughs> and the conversation would continue. Uh, we'll continue offline. But Fred, thank you so much for coming on again. I think that this conversation, it flew by, um, but I really think it was a conversation that was inspiring. And I hope that the student that watched this, the student that listened to this realizes right now that just like you were able to do it, they will be able to do it as well. And I wanna encourage everyone, again, if you're not a member of the family, please join us. All you have to do is go to www.dailyenglishlessons.com, dailyenglishlessons.com. If the doors are closed, don't worry, get on the waiting list. But the reason I'm encouraging you all to join is because I want you to watch Fred's first video. You'll be in shock. Oh my goodness. When you see the improvement, you're probably not gonna even believe it. Like, is this the same person? But again, the video is inside the Academy, but I really want you all to watch it. And for those that are listening or watching that are already members, go back and watch the video again. And you'll see, wow, Fred has never been to America ever. He's only been in Brazil. So it's possible. And I just want to use you as an example that it is possible. So Fred, thank you again for joining. I enjoyed the conversation, my friend. It was my pleasure, you know that. I, I'm happy to talk talking to you. Um, if you allow me, I will talk for hours with you because <laughs> all the time it's a, a great conversation. So thanks for having me. And guys, uh, what Tiffany said, it's, it's true. Uh, if you want to speak English for real, if you want to improve your, uh, not just your speaking skills, but your confidence and to be ready to, to face the challenge that life, life ha has to you, join us, the community, because this is a, 
it's a place that you will be welcome and people will take care of you this is the yeah. this is the word people will take care of you and uh, i'm sure that you will flourish as Stephen said because uh, it's a safe environment for you flourish yeah. and really speak english for for real so i am a approve of that uh Without the, this amazing community, I, I won't speak English as I am right now. Maybe I was better than before, but not the way I, I would like. And uh, you said my first conversation. Uh, you need to see my first conversation in English before the academy. I saw, <laughs> I, I saw it a few days ago. I was like, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the improvement too, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Perfect. Okay. Well, Fred, thank you again, my friend. We will talk some more. I appreciate you. Thank you for the opportunity and have a wonderful day. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, guys.